اهلا بيكم في كايرو ده النهارده هنشوف امتحان السودان 2013 هنشوف الاسئله بتاعه البيولوجي كان شكلها ايه هنشوف الانسرز بتاعتها اخبارها ايه هنلاقي في مستيكس كتيره ويعني في حاجات كتيره مش متظبطه لكن احنا هنجاوبه على اي الاحوال يعني هنبدا بكويشن 1 Select the correct answer of each of the following and write it only in your answer paper. دائما العيد إن إحنا نكتب الإجابة بس number one. The answer كذا أتبع أسهل على طول وتوفر لي نوعات. Number one. In the root here, the rate of respiration increased during the dots. Number A. Absorption of salts. Number B. The absorption of water. Number C. The passage between the soil particles, number D, protruding to the outside the root. The respiration act as a vital activity that to increase energy or to produce produce energy. That's what about the activity of these four activities that needs the presence of great amount of energy. We understand that the absorption of salts takes a place by active transports which need energy. And we explain that in the experiment of barley plant, the absorption of the salvate salts which containing radioactive sulfur 35 that increase at the presence of oxygen or at the presence of sufficient amount of energy. So the answer is the absorption of salts. The second part of the first question. At the dorsal side of the bony vertebra, the structure that connected with the sternum is called the number A, transversal process, number two, posterior articulating process, spinal ring, number D, the anterior articulating process. Uh, the question asked about the ask about the part that connected with the sternum at the dorsal side. So. The part of the sternum that connected to the dorsal side is the ring or the spinal ring that below or located at the dorsal side of the centrum. So the answer of the part number one is the absorption of salts. The second part is the spinal ring. The next question. The five end of the sugar phosphate fat backbone of the DNA single strand indicate that the uh, uh, free phosphate group is attached to the carbon atom number that's act as a very simple question the phosphate group is connected with the five with the carbon atom number five because we understand that the uh, deoxy uh, ribose sugar is the sugar containing five carbon atoms the carbon atom number one is a connected is connected with the uh, nitrogen space number two containing the hydrogen uh, uh, atom in the case of the deoxyribose but hydroxide group in the form of the ribose sugar. The carbon atom number three connected with the free or the free end of number three, number three, carbon atom number three is connected with the hydroxide group. Uh, number five is connected with the phosphate group. So the free end uh, is that connected with the uh, uh, phosphate group as the five or the fifth carbon atom. Number four. The male gonads of the furnace are known as the male uh, uh, reproductive organ of the furnace as the adiantum or the polypodium plant is the anthridium. So the, uh, for the answer of the first part or the uh, number three is five, number four is uh, anthridium. The next question. Study the opposite figure and answer the following question. The figure represents the mRNA. We understand that number one is a pine side of ribosome as a five prime end. Number two is a start codon AOG, which represents a methionine amino acid. Number three is a stop codon, and number four is a polyadenine tail. The uh, first question: uh, What does the opposite diagram represent? So the answer is the mRNA. What's the difference between number two and the number three? in terms of the role of each of them during the protein sense. We understand that number two is a start codon, where the, spo the small ribosomal subunit is connected with the mRNA at the five prime end, where the presence of AUG, which act as the first codon on the mRNA, that represents the methionine amino acid. But the stop codon that's represented by the letter number three as the UAG, 
UGA and UAA. Yuga, UAG, UAA, that's the stop codon. On the stop codon, the presence of certain protein, which is called the releasing factor, in the releasing factor, or in the presence of the releasing factor on the stop codon that causing the termination of the protein sense and separation of the two uh, subunits of the ribosome and the uh, spreading takes the place of the uh, polypeptide chain at the end of the uh, uh, protein sense. The next part of the question, what does you expect in the absence of number four? We understand that num number four is a polyadenine tail. The polyadenine tail protects the mRNA against the action of enzymes in cytoplasm. So the absence of the M of the polyadenine tail that means the uh, uh, mRNA will be eradicated or damaged by the action of the enzyme in the cytoplasm. The next question: Compare between each of the following. The transportation in xylem vessels and transportation in phloem. We understand that the transportation in xylem takes place through the vessels and the tracheids. And the vessels and tracheids carry water and the salts. And the direction of the substance or the raw materials from the root here to the xylem vessels. But or from the root to the xylem vessels. And that takes place by cohesive adhesive and the transpiration pulp. But in the case of the transportation of phloem, the transportation of phloem that means it carries high energy materials that produced as a result of photosynthesis process as a direction from the leaf to all the plant parts and that takes place inside the sieve tubes and that takes place in the form of cytoplasmic streaming which is the cytoplasm which carries the food particles which pass from one uh, sieve tube to the next one through the, sieve, the pores of the sieve plate that takes place by active transport which need the presence of energy. The next question. Compare between the uh, dendrites and the terminal arborization of the nerve cell. We understand that the, terminal, the, the dendrites act as a mini short process which increase the uh, structure or the, uh, uh, the neuron area that around the uh, body cell. And the direction of the nerve impulse takes a place from the dendrites to the body cell and from the body cell to the axon uh, that to reach the uh, terminal art position that takes a place in one direction from the dendrites, the body cell, the axon and terminal art position. So the terminal arborization are many shorter process of at the end of the axon of the nerve fiber and the uh, direction of the nerve impulses takes place from the axon to the terminal arborization where the presence of the uh, 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 synapse which allow the passage of the uh, nerve impulses in the form of neurochemical transmitter that pass uh, at the uh, direction from the presynaptic membrane and the pass through the cleft to get on the postsynaptic membrane to causing the transmission of the nerve impulses from through the uh, synapse. Question two. Rewrite the following statement after correcting the underlying words. The nerve cell is considered as a unit nerve activity. Uh, the line under the nerve cell. The nerve cell is not uh, right to the uh, uh, correction in the uh, reflex action. The reflex action is considered as a unit of nerve uh, activity, but we understand that the nerve cell is a new unit building of the nerve tissue. The uh, part number two, during the oxidation of one glucose molecule in the aerobic respiration, eight coenzymes are reduced. Eight is wrong and is, that's underlined words because we understand 12 uh, coenzymes are reduced during the complete oxidation, during the aerobic condition of the complete oxidation of one glucose molecule. We remember that during the reducing of the uh, glucose molecule into pyrophic acid during the glycolysis to NADH produced. When the pyrophic acid is reduced, is oxidized into, sorry, when the glucose is uh, 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 oxidized into two pyrophic acid reduction takes a place of the two NAD positive into two NADH, so two NADH produced, 
and when the pyruvic acid is oxidized into acetyl group, two NADH produced, that means four uh, NADH produced during the glycolysis and the formation of the acetyl group. In Krebs cycle, in one turn of Krebs cycle, three NADH produced and one fed H2 is produced. So, the, uh, when the uh, Krebs cycle is repeated twice, that means uh, uh, six NADH produced and two fed H2 produced. So, the total number of NADH and fed H2 produced is uh, 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 12 coenzymes or 12 coenzymes only. The next part, in skeletal muscles, the semi lighted area is formed of thin actin filaments. The uh, underlined or the wrong part is the thin actin filaments. Thin actin filaments that act as a wrong because the semi lighted area which is called the H zone that is, uh, that's formed by the thick myosin filaments only. So the thin actin filament is not right but the right is the uh, thick myosin filaments. The last part of this uh, rewrite the underlined words. Pepsin enzyme hydrolyzes protein by breaking down the hydrogen bonds between the long polypeptide chain. The hydrogen bond is a wrong word. So the answer is a peptide bond. So the answer of the first part is the reflex action instead of the wrong part which is a nerve cell. Number two, the answer is 12 instead of the uh, eight. Number three, the answer is thick myosin instead of the thin actin. The last point is a peptide bond instead of the hydrogen bond. Number B, when self pollination occur, two plant with the uh, with the orange fruit, twenty five percent of the offspring were red and 25% yellow, 50% orange. What is the case of these crossing? And explain with genetic basis. We understand that the presence of three, of three phenotypes, one, uh, two uh, uh, phenotypes and the, the intermediate third uh, phenotype, that indicates that the case is a lack of dominance. The lack of dominance takes a clue it takes a place between red, which is represented by R capital, and the yellow, which is represented by Y capital. But the, uh, for the uh, uh, presence of intermediate characters that takes a place by the presence of R capital, Y capital. So the orange fruit is produced due to the crossing between the red and, the, uh, and yellow that indicates that the case is a, a lack of dominance. But if the crossing takes a place between two individuals R capital Y capital or self pollination takes a place between the same genotype that will produce the uh, three phenotypes in the ratio of 1 to 2 to 1 or 25% red, 50% orange and 25% yellow. So that because, that because the uh, lack of dominance between R capital and Y capital or the red gene is not uh, dominant over the yellow, but both of them had the same effect to produce the uh, character. The next question, write the site and the function of each of the following. Finger like a villi. We understand that if the question asks about the villi, the villi only is located inside the small intestine and responsible for the absorption of the uh, digested food material. But the question asks about the finger-like villi. The finger-like villi is located in the uh, placenta or the chorion, which act as a membrane that surrounds the, uh, uh, the outer uh, membrane of the fetus. So the uh, edges of the membrane is connected together to form the finger-like protrusion, which is called the finger-like villi. The finger-like villi is the connection between the blood capillaries of the fetus and the mother, which is called the placenta. The placenta is responsible for carrying the food and the oxygen from the mother to the fetus, and the metabolic waste is from the fetus to the mother, and also the placenta is responsible for the secretion of the progesterone hormone, which keep the uh, uh, pregnancy. The next question. Write the site and the function of the 
neuro hypothesis. One that stands that the pituitary gland consists of two main parts, adeno hypothesis and the neuro hypothesis. The neuro hypothesis is a part of the hypothalamus and responsible for the secretion of two hormones. The first is the antidiuretic hormone or the vasopressin, uh, which is responsible for decreasing the amount of urine and the increase of blood pressure. Um, and responsible for the secretion of oxytocin hormone, which is responsible for the uh, rapid contraction of the uterine muscle to facilitate the uh, delivery. So the site of the hypothalamus is the uh, forebrain, because the forebrain is, uh, uh, is consists of uh, two cerebral hemispheres or two uh, or the brain cortex, thalamus and the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the intermediate part between the nervous system and the endocrine gland system and it is a part responsible for the secretion of the uh, uh, hormones of the neuro hypothesis which act as a part of the pituitary gland. The next question. Show by a label diagram only the bowling grain germination. This uh, uh, diagram is represented by three stages. The first stage is the boring grain which containing the uh, generative nucleus and the tube nucleus and surrounded by the thick coat. The uh, uh, second stage uh, which containing the pollen tube or a small pollen tube and the uh, nucleus of the pollen tube start to pass through the pollen tube. But the third part containing the long, the long uh, pollen tube and containing two generative nuclei because one generative nucleus is divided by mitosis to produce two generative nuclei. The next question. Give reason for, that's the question three, number A, give reason for. The peristalsis play an important role in the digestion inside the alimentary canal. One understands that the peristalsis is a series of contraction and relaxation that fa facilitate the mixing of the food with the digestive enzymes or to increase the area of the food that, that exposed to the digestive enzymes. And also the peristalsis facilitates the passage of the food through the alimentary canal. But the next, the next question, the chlorophyll is not formed in seedling when uh, it germinated in darkness. We understand that the uh, chlorophyll molecule or the formation of the chlorophyll that act as a character and the character needs the presence of gene and also the presence of the condition which helps the gene to act. So the presence of the chlorophyll gene, C capital, that needs the presence of the light which act as a condition or the environmental condition that stimulates the gene to act. So the gene of the chlorophyll can't act and they can't form a chlorophyll except at the presence of the uh, light in this case of the chlorophyll uh, gene. The next question. When the plant roots immerse in the iocene solution, the leaf uh, petioles change into pink. One understands that the iocene solution act as a pig as a uh, pigment or pink pigment and this pink pigment can pass through the vessels that are responsible for carrying the water from the root to the leaf. So the iocene solution passes through the xylem vessels and the xylem vessels is stained with the pink iocene solution. The uh, part of the uh, plant roots or the part of the uh, uh, petioles of the plant that carries a leaf containing a great number of the xylem vessels so it is stained with the iocene solution and also the veins inside the leaf and the petals of the flower stained with the pink iocene solution that act as experiment to prove that the xylem responsible for carrying water and salts from the root to the leaf. The fourth part after the end of the stimulus the nervous cell regain its unequal distribution of ions at the two sides of the nerve membrane. We understand that when the nerve membrane is stimulated, that means the sodium ions move from outside to inside, change the state of the uh, polarization into depolarization due to the accumulation of the sodium ions inside the membrane. But when the uh, a stimulus or after the end of the stimulus, that means the selectively permeability of the nerve membrane return it is uh, selectively permeability and start to push the potassium ions from inside to outside that move 
the positive potassium ion from inside to outside and the selectively permeable membrane of the selectively permeability of the membrane can move the potassium ions from inside to outside 40 times more than the sodium ions from outside in, uh, to inside. That's increase the accumulation of the, the positive ions outside and it changes the state from the depolarization state at the potential difference 40, uh, positive 40 millivolt into negative 70 millivolt, which is called the depolarization or the repolarization after the stimulation. The next part. Study the object figure and answer the following question. What is the name of the structures 1, 2, and 3? That's the structure of the heart. Number 1 is a sinoatrial node. Number 2, atrioventricular node. Number 3, the his fibers. We understand that the sinoatrial node responsible for the uh, uh, sending impulses or to the two auricles causing their contraction and send the impulses to the atrioventricular node which receive the impulses from the sinoatrial node and send them to his fibers causing the contraction of the two ventricles. So the uh, uh, three parts, sinoatrial node, number two atrioventricular node, number three his fibers is the answer of the uh, number A question. Number B, what does you expect if the structure number two is damaged? The structure number two is the uh, uh, atrioventricular node and the atrioventricular node responsible for receiving the nerve impulses to from the sinoatrial node and send them to the his fibers causing contraction of the two ventricles. If damage takes the place of the atrioventricular node that means it can't receive the nerve impulses from the sinoatrial node and can't send them to the his fibers so no contraction of the two ventricles takes a place that means the right ventricle can't push the deoxygenated blood from to the lungs and also the left ventricle can't, can't push the oxygenated blood to the body organs. The next question. What's meant by the uh, pituitary trophies? Then name the hormones that stimulate the following glands, thyroid gland and the cortex of adrenal gland. We understand the pituitary trophins is a group of hormones that are created from the pituitary gland and stimulate the other endocrine glands to secrete its hormones or the, their hormones. So, uh, the pituitary gland secrete a group of hormones to stimulate the other glands. But the question asks about the hormone which is secreted from the pituitary gland to stimulate the thyroid gland. Of course, this, this hormone is called the thyrotrophin or thyroid stimulating hormone or SCTH hormone. But the hormone that's responsible for the activation of the cortex of adrenal gland that's called the ACTH hormone or adrenocorticotrophic hormone. So the first hormone which stimulates the thyroid gland is the thyrotrophin hormone, but the hormone responsible for the uh, uh, stimulation of the cortex of adrenal gland is the ACTH hormone or adrenocorticotrophic hormone. The next question. Name the organ that number A contributes of the purify of the blood from toxins the uh, organs that are responsible for the removing the oxen or excretion of ex excretion of the toxin substance or the toxic substance from the body but the uh, uh, number B get rid of the body excess salts in the case of the organs that are responsible for the purify the body or the blood from the toxins, it is the liver. But the uh, uh, organs that are responsible for the extraction of the excess amount of salts is the uh, uh, kidney. The last part of this question is uh, define the mixed nerve. We understand that the nerves are divided into three groups. The first is a sensory nerve. The second is the motor nerve, the third is the mixed. The sensory nerve consists of sensory fibers, carries the sensory impulses from the sensory organs to the central nervous system. But the motor nerve that formed of motor fibers that responsible for carrying the motor impulses from the central nervous system to responding organs as the muscles or glands. But the mixed, the mixed nerve, it is the, mer the nerve which is containing the uh, two kinds of nerve fibers the uh, sensory fibers 
which carry the sensory impulses from the sensory organ to the central nervous system and the motor fibers carry motor impulse from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. We understand that the spinal nerves are 31 pairs, all of them mixed, and each of them uh, containing two uh, roots, the dorsal root, which act as a sensory root or made of sensory fibers, carry sensory impulse to the spinal cord, and the ventral root act as a ventral, as the uh, motor or made of motor fiber, carry motor impulses from the spinal cord to the responding organ. My dear students, that's the end of this part. Thank you very much. Goodbye and good luck.